Mackenzie Critiques, the Mackenzie Dick Rides, your favorite anime. Welcome back to another live reaction. Attack on Titan, Shingeki no Kyojin, Season 4, Episode 8, this is. And it's 67 in the grand scheme. Man, all I'm going to say is, you know what happened last week. Fucking Eren demolished Marley, fam. Marley from the ground up just fucked him up. And now it's all on fucking Peaks. Fuck, Peaks gone. She's dead. Poco, gone. Warhammer Titan, gone. No hope, fam. As Reiner, man. Will Reiner die in peace like he wants, man? Or will he overcome him? Let's see. Also, I don't want to preempt too long, but if you're literally listening to me right now speak, you listening to it, please be sure to go like, comment, subscribe. If you enjoy these reactions and you want to support reactors you enjoy watching, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, all that good shit, right? Stop empowering these once a year anime reactors who usually react to twerking videos. Don't let them dominate the algorithm. I get it. I get it. You guys want to pretend like you have friends. Oh, I've got a group of friends here I'm watching with. It's better together, fam. These people don't know you. They're not your friends. They don't live in the same country as you. You'll never meet them. You know what I mean? At all. Oh, maybe I can get the cute anime chick. You know? If this loser can get this cute anime chick, maybe I can get it as well. You know? this kind of delusion soft delusion look I get it you guys are losers but you're my losers fam so let's fucking raise this uh, losers club fam let's make this bigger fam so uh yeah so that's my little rat man let's get into this attack on Titan, final season episode 8 come on <laughs> the way the CG turned around that was very noticeable, but it's fine, man. Dude, Reiner's face never looks so good. Ha animated. That is awesome. They're actually doing it, fam. Dude, his, the fucking... His jaw is off. One punch. Come on, man. I know Rhino was fucking f like got no energy left. Dude, dude, the, what an anticlimax! <laughs> is he? Is he? Is he being truthful about that? Or do you think it's because he had that conversation with him? But he didn't care when he when he transformed. He didn't give a fuck then. I don't know, man. I want to believe this little bit of humanity left in Eren, but I think he's fucked, man. No, you're not safe, fam. They came here to cripple you, man. Yeah, they've created a, they've created m martyrs now. They've created martyrs. This is what war does, fam. She's literally created an, a, a new new errand in the making from. If we're talking about counterparts, fam. See, Eren started off as a victim and a, you know, victim and like did, but he is now the aggressor, and now he's created basically a fucking carbon copy of himself from back in the day this is why I like I don't even like it and I don't condone it but this is why back in the day during wars they used to kill off w everyone women and children because they knew that these women children these children will not forget and one day they will raise an army or they'll get come and get revenge right and this is what's happening man the sins of the fathers, fam. That's what it is. Fucking hell. Look look how far we've come in like just four fucking seasons, man. I like the passage of time in anime. I like when the passage of time happens. Done correctly. I like it. Whoa! <laughs> My war. A 
Assassin's Bullet. Okay. Man, Aaron, like, I'm Aaron's had the most drastic. Cha They've all changed. Mikasa just looks more like a dude, and fucking Armin got a haircut. But Aaron has changed, man. <laughs> Look at his dead eyes, fam. Him, they both got dead eyes. They both got dead eyes. I feel like Mikasa used to be the chick with the dead eyes, but she looks more fucking um. That foolish. <laughs> Man, these guys have been through it. Here we go. See, still make a great punching bag. in the last couple of years. I mean, you cripple their fucking titans, fam. Kill or cripple their titans. <clears throat> oh, what a fucking hero. Yep, he's dead. <laughs> we did a head count and it looks like we have six deaths. Dude, that's nothing compared to the damage they done to Marley, man. The new earlier has won his first battle. Is that what they, they were now referring the, to themselves as? The new Eldian Empire? Damn, they really embraced that, man. The history. Fuck, man. Dude, a lot has changed in the last four years, man. Like, crazy amount. You guys are special to me. <laughs> All of them have pretty much the thousand yard stare now, man. That's fucked, man. How are they gonna can candle this? I can only imagine there'd be a stalemate when we invested in both sides like this. Will both sides exterminate each other? Will all aliens be wiped out forever? Man, you just—they just create the next generation, fam. Cycle of hatred, fam. Man. 
but they still desperately want to keep me out of danger. Man, this is fucked. Mindless, mindless titans is one thing for Paradise, but these guys were murdered. It's war by people who knew exactly what they were doing. my home this is worse like she shouldn't be happy with internment but because of this fucking attack they got exactly what they wanted man Awesome man. Everyone's made it their home and got their friends and families killed. And you revenge, man. Yeah. When you're disinvested on both sides, the only solution that you would want as a viewer is stalemate, man. Isn't it funny how these parodies look like the Nazis now? <laughs> See? All part of the plan, man. Cruel demons who deserve to be killed. This is what they rely on. The populace not knowing historical injustices. And why this sentiment comes. You know what I mean? They're the same. This is why I said that this show is great in that it's like a Russian nesting doll structure. It's really good. Yeah, shoot this fat blob out. Yeah, shoot him. He's nameless fodder. So, so I knew this guy was going to die if I'm typical parodies fashion dude is she gonna make her way oh my god what are the rules of engagement when it comes to kids man I wonder Dude, I can't believe I am disinvested in Gubby, man. I'm always for the little guy. They're the little guy right now. And they hurt my feelings. Dude, this is their inn, but... And, and she's actually right about the inheritance of feelings. This idea of in inheriting titans, the titan, and, and the memories that go with it, right? This means that it's all but assured that this cycle of revenge and hatred will go on and on and on and on. So whoever inherits it from fucking Eren... This sociopathic fucking... Dude... How, how much damage can she do? No way... Awesome! Oh come on fam. You in, in you're pretty much in enemy territory right now. Oh 
No. I'm more worried about Gabby, man. What are they going to do to her? Like, this has come to be expected. The way they've handled this show has come to be expected. Yep. Man, they, they, oh my god. Dude, do you not understand why they did it? Have some understanding, at least. Not, not historically, just about the now. You just came and attacked it. You knew there were civilians involved, fam. What do you think they were going to do? Look at them, they're fucking children, fam. These guys should remember being children in the f training for the call, fam. Man, it's great, man. That's what I love about this. They had no problem throwing, throwing these guys under the bus. Oh my days! This is like the last of us too. Oh fucking attack a time. Make parodies thoroughly unlikable just like Ellie. This is gonna end in uh it has to be stalemate, man. Is peak regenerate healing or can she be saved? What's going on? I remember now. First time I saw that sword was three years ago. First scout fleet we sent there. That's how they infiltrated then. Ugly beer that got me thinking about it. Compliments on it. Who is that? I I don't recognize. People thought it was Armin, but obviously Armin came in on the Zeppelin, man. The true Elden curse you to death. Man, this is family killing family, man. That's the most fucked up thing. The genetic. Ancestry and all that. Man. How did you know it was a Malian soul? Someone I had a personal interest in. She. Zeke's followers. Is that... What's going on? Who's that bowl cut motherfucker? Like, am I missing something? Maybe I forgot. Maybe it's a forgettable character. Dude, that's still only, what, six, seven, eight uh, fucking victims, man. Hanji. What, what's going on? Double agent. 
double agent. Didn't I say? Didn't I have this? F I had this theory. If you guys have been following my reactions, he that he is this ultimate Trojan horse. His betrayal was so he could embed himself on the Eldians. I said that. In Mali, I mean. Even for a clown like you, that was one hell of an improv act. You, you guys will remember, if you guys have been following my reactions, I had this theory. I said, I think even in this series of reactions, I said it. I think it was a few reactions ago I said this. I want to say with the taste. We killed the leader of the Malian army. But and his betrayal was at such a young age. I, I'm wondering if it was calculated back then, or has it come over time? So by the end, we put our lives on the line to get you back. Hostage, so you can force it to make this attack. Man, you treat him like a dog, fam. Bring freedom to Eldia. Somebody remind me who that bowl cut blondie motherfucker is. I don't know who that is. So not. Uh. Aaron's just cried enough. Aaron's got no tears to cry. These guys still have tears to cry. I'm not gonna lie. Sasha for me is like who like had the touchstones for her in this series. I don't I barely remember her accomplishments, man. Meat. <laughs> She's laughing. It's hard for me, even even going by this episode. This is one person. Look how many people or named characters are dying in the early seasons, man. And look how much devastation they just wrought, fam, in Mali. So it's very difficult for me, you know. This one thing I'll say about this show: it made us forget how invested we were in Paradise. It it has done so much to make <laughs> Paradise likable. So, I'm not gonna lie, it did The Last of Us 2 here. It, the, the same way I felt about Ellie being this fucking C word. You know? It, yeah, I just, it's doing that. It's very difficult now for me to remember all the. Oh, she was the chick that I really loved, had a good appetite, and, you know, she had dreams, and she wanted meat and food, and she, she you know. It's apart from the main three characters Mikasa, Eren, and Armin. You know, uh, th in fact, funny thing is, a lot of these characters I'm surprised weren't followed off before this point. I don't know if I'm supposed to feel a certain way about that, but I don't. I'm more emotionally invested in Gabi, Falco, Reiner, man. They did such a good job. I, like Sasha's gone, and I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm not. I don't know if I'm supposed to feel a certain way, but I'm like, it's war, fam. It's war. You know what I mean?
You just you you literally not days, hours, months, years. You literally just attacked Mali, and you knew people had family, friends, loved ones there who had no skin in the game, no fucking horse in the race, and they died, and you just got shot by a bunch of kids, and you don't understand. You know what I mean? This war, right? All in the game, yo. It looks like we're going to be flashing back to... Yeah, we're going to be flashing back to what happened in these four years. Volunteer soldiers. I, I, I couldn't... I'm not going to lie. I just don't remember enough of... Sasha's not a memorable enough character. Apart from her quirks or whatever the fuck it is. To, to really mourn over it. I'm more invested in Eren. What's become, become of him. His relationships. What's happened in the last four years to everyone makes such a fucking unlikable dick in this <laughs> on Paradise's side. And man, Reiner man, I'm glad about Reiner though. It's kinda anticlimactic, man. I I was expecting a throwdown. But it makes sense that Aaron would have no energy in the tank after literally just single handedly demolishing. You know. And and it felt it did feel like he was a loose cannon. Aaron's a loose cannon. He's talking about orders. Oh, it's, I have to do this because of my orders. Blah blah. But there is an element of him that wants to unleash. He's he's, he's you know he's letting the demon out, like they say in Daredevil. Gotta let the demon out. Gotta let the, let the devil out, fam. That's what he's doing, fam. But that was a great episode. I've preferred last week's episode, but I think uh, Gabi uh, for me, this episode goes to Gabi. MVP of this episode is Gabi, man really invested in her man thematically I know what they're doing with her character you know what I mean the cycle of hatred is just gonna create more and more of these Zeke twist was fucking insane but I'm not gonna lie it, it was so uncharacteristic for, for to, to see Zeke Zeke fucking throw his parents under the bus that I thought it must be calculated he's some little genius that he's calculating the long game so I don't know at what point did Zeke come over to the other side. Was it? Did he always have this in mind, or was he just hoping for that right opportunity to come where he can just sell out, sell out Marley's, you know, secrets and whatever it is, right? As a double agent, I said that. Don't don't pretend like I didn't say it. You, my close stands, will remember I said it. At the, either at the beginning of this season, somewhere in, in one of the, there's not been many what eight episodes, I said that that he's got to be there's got to be a long game for Zeke, and I said it, and, and and thankfully people actually kept quiet about it. But if you if you thought why I wasn't why I wasn't more shocked, it's because I felt there was more to it. So, alright, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Those details are below. Click the icon at the bottom right to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Peace. Thank you.